everyone, it has been a while since I've sat down and shared with you what is going on as far as breastfeeding and co-sleeping and Jude turning one. Can you even believe that he is one? Holy crap. So I had some time today to film and I wanted to sit down and connect with you guys and let you guys know what was up. All right guys, so like I said, I had a little bit of time to film today. I actually already filmed this intro and then I started talking in this video and I realized that it wasn't just a life update. This was really kind of honed in toward co-sleeping, breastfeeding, Jude being one, that whole situation. So that's what this video is gonna be about. John is out with the kids right now. I got some time to film some millennial mom videos and who would have thought I still have a little bit of time left. So I wanted to sit down and just kind of connect with you guys. I feel bad because I haven't really done any Jude updates or anything like that because life has just been real cray over this last year. So there will be, I think, a number of updates coming up here soon. Updates about our life in general, updates about the kids, updates about future kids. I know you guys, just chill out, it's coming. Um, but this one in particular, I just wanna sit down and chat with you guys about Jude and everything going on with him and breastfeeding and co-sleeping and all that good stuff. So I wanted to chat a little bit about the fact that Jude is now one, as I hold up two hands, one. Jude is one, you guys. I had Jude almost 14 months ago, which is insanity to me. I just can't even believe that he's already won, you guys. So much has happened in this past year. Jude is currently co-sleeping with us right now. I co-slept with, my husband and I co-slept with Ezra until he was one and then we transitioned him into Fiona's room. There is a video that I'll link down below for you guys if you wanna see exactly how that happened, how we went about doing that, as well as like our co-sleeping situation. Now Jude is currently still with us and we are slowly working in the direction of getting him into his own bed and then eventually moving his bed into Ezra's room. Now how I go about doing that I guess in a nutshell is if you google Dr. Jay Gordon he has a method it's very gentle it takes a long time but it really just kind of goes along with the way that I do things as a parent anyways. I just feel like I take baby steps slowly moving in that direction. Now I do not do cry it out but he is 13 months so I think it's a little different anyways from having him kind of fuss a little bit when he's 13 months versus having you know a two month old cry and cry because they don't know what their mom is doing or where she's at you know what I mean so long story short as I said I wasn't gonna go into it but I did we are transitioning him slowly but surely into that direction because if I'm being honest I just need my own space I feel like I share everything with my kids all day long which I'm fine with I'm a stay-at-home mom I I love my children and I would give or do anything for them. However, I have been breastfeeding and or pregnant like nonstop for the past four years. And so I need a little bit of space. I'm feeling like I mentally need some space, emotionally, physically, maritally. We just need some space, you know what I'm saying? So we are moving in that direction. Uh, he is still breastfeeding and I don't have any plans to stop anytime soon. However, I do feel like I just mentioned, like I'm wanting a little bit more space. I kind of naturally at around a year with my kids, kind of start pulling back on breastfeeding and I know some people are totally fine with nursing on command, nursing, nursing on command, nursing on demand for, you know, two years and that's totally fine. Me as a person though, I am a person that kind of needs my own space. I'm saying that like in the best way that I can say that without sounding totally selfish, but if you're a mom, thumbs up if you can agree that sometimes we just... We just need to not be touched or pulled on. You know, sometimes I just find myself being like, oh, stop touching me, I just need a little bit of space. And I don't wanna be like that. So I naturally start pulling back at around a year. I just start implementing other ways of coping. You know, I don't whip my boob out for every single problem that there is. Which, if you do do that, that is awesome. For me personally though, I'm a little bit of a control freak. I'm a little bit of a, I need my own space. I keep saying that in this video. I need my own space. I don't wanna co-sleep anymore because I need my own space. We're breastfeeding less, I need my own space. You know, but hey, whatever, that's just who I am. We're all different. And I'm just gonna drink my coffee and embrace it. So Jude is nursing, usually, 
before bedtime, except for John has been getting him to go to sleep at nighttime without nursing, which is amazing. However, he is still waking up once or twice at nighttime and nursing more if he's got huge molars coming in, which he currently has. Um, but really, he's really usually only nursing to go down. He's really busy, he's playing with the kids, and you know, he's just turning into a little toddler. Oh, I can't even believe I said that. He started walking at 10 months. He was walking all over the place. I wanna say, yeah, he was like exactly 10 months when he started walking and he's just not stopped since. Now he is climbing on everything. He scales the couches, he tries to climb up, well he climbs on top of the entertainment center. He is so busy and he started now, like if he's doing something or he has something and I'm either pulling him away from it or taking something away from him, he gets angry. Like I remember with my other two, with Ezra and Fiona, if you guys are new, I have a three year old, almost four year old daughter and a two and a half year old son. And I remember when they reached that point where they were aware, like you could no longer just trade them and give them something else. They were like, hey, hold on a minute. You took that from me and I'm not really liking that. So he's in that stage right now. He loves chasing the kids around. He loves being with them. Ezra is so funny with him. Like Ezra loves his little brother. He just kind of puts his arm around him and takes care of him. If there's a time where he doesn't want to share with Jude, usually all I have to say is, Ezra, Jude is your little brother and he looks up to you and he loves you and wants to play with you. And then he will share with him and okay, all right, sorry Jude, sorry. And he gives him loves and oh, they're just so cute. Fiona loves Jude. Fiona just looks at him like, He's her little baby. She got him out of his high chair this morning and I almost had a heart attack. And she was like, I helped you, mom. I helped you. Look, I got Jude out. And I was like, oh, okay, let's not do that again. He is not really doing a ton of talking, a lot of blabbling, babbling. Uh, one of the first things he said was, no, 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 which is funny because he probably hears me. Well, he hears me, not probably. He hears me say that all the time. Jude is so lovey. Everybody talks about what a lover he is. He just a cuddly, big, squishy thing. He is a solid boy and he's just, he just, we love him. He's got the best little temperament. Yeah. So yeah, I think that's it for my update of Jude and breastfeeding and co-sleeping and all those things. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you can understand why they just were non-existent <laughs> in the past year. It's just been nuts. And I will kind of share more on our life update and where we're at as a family and kind of just talk about all the changes and things that have been happening in our lives in a separate video. But I wanted to do something dedicated for Jude for his one year. And so yeah. So yeah, if you made it to the end of this video, congratulations, thumbs up, because I was long-winded, but there was a lot to cover. As always, if you're not subscribed to me, please subscribe down below. I'd love to have you join my family over here. So I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope your families are well and your lives are blessed. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good day. Bye. Using the brow serum that I got, and I am impressed. I am like really, really impressed. I am not one for, I don't know,